what's going on with our geopolitics, why these have become such a negative factors for societies across the world. Well, we live in polarized times. The polarization we find uh, between countries in the geopolitical competition that you've described and that's been heating up and hardening in some ways. We also find the polarization, certainly we do in the United States, within our politics, within our society, as we see the current presidential primaries unfolding on the Republican side. And so the question is, have people already made up their minds what they think? Or is there room for some coming together, some reasoning together, reasoning about our differences and disagreements? Yeah. Uh, here I would distinguish, Kian, between optimism and hope. It's very hard to be optimistic these days in the face of the intense uh, divisions and polarizations that we see on the world stage and within society. Right. But I do have hope, I do have hope that we can build genuine dialogue, that we can recover the art of listening if we set about it. And what gives me the hope is not listening to the elites or to the political leaders or the politicians or the political parties. What, because they're stuck, I think, in these... Their hard, own cocoons. I, I think so. Mm -hmm. I, but what does give me hope is listening to young people, the younger generation. Yeah. There is a hunger for something better, 